How do them? Genesis, Bereshit, 11. And all the earth had one language and one speech. And it came to be as they set out from the east, that they found a plain in the land of Shinar, and they dwelt there. And they said to each other, Come, let us make bricks and bake them thoroughly. And they had brick for stone, and they had asphalt for mortar. And they said, Come, let us build ourselves a city, and a tower whose top is in the heavens, and make a name for ourselves, lest we be scattered over all the face of the earth. Then Yahuwah came down to see the city and the tower which the sons of men had built. And Yahuwah said, Look, they are one people, and they all have one language, and this is what they begin to do. And now, they are not going to be withheld from doing whatever they plan to do. Come, let us go there and confuse their language, so that they do not understand one another's speech. And Yahuwah scattered them from there over the face of all the earth, and they left off building the city. That is why its name was called Babel, because there Yahuwah confused the language of all the earth, and from there Yahuwah scattered them over the face of all the earth. This is the genealogy of Shem. Shem was a hundred years old and brought forth Arpachshad two years after the flood. And after he brought forth a Pakshad, Shem lived 500 years and brought forth sons and daughters. And our Pakshad lived 35 years and brought forth Shelah. And after he brought forth Shelah, our Pakshad lived 403 years and brought forth sons and daughters. And Shelah lived 30 years and brought forth Eber. And after he brought forth Eber, Shelah lived 403 years and brought forth sons and daughters. And Eber lived 34 years and brought forth Peleg. And after he brought forth Peleg, Eber lived 430 years and brought forth sons and daughters. And Peleg lived 30 years and brought forth Ryu. And after he brought forth Ryu, Peleg lived 209 years and brought forth sons and daughters. And Ryu lived 32 years and brought forth Serug. And after he brought forth Serug, Reu lived 207 years and brought forth sons and daughters. And Serug lived 30 years and brought forth Nahor. And after he brought forth Nahor, Serug lived 200 years and brought forth sons and daughters. And Nahor lived 29 years and brought forth Terah. And after he brought forth Terah, Nahor lived 119 years and brought forth sons and daughters. And Terah lived 70 years and brought forth Abram, Nahor, and Haran. And this is the genealogy of Terah. Terah brought forth Abram, Nahor, and Haran. And Haran brought forth Lot. And Haran died before his father Terah in the land of his birth, in Ur Kazdim. And Abram and Nahor took wives. The name of Abram's wife was Sarai, and the name of Nahor's wife, Milka, the daughter of Haram, the father of Milka, and the father of Yiska. And Sarai was barren, she had no child. And Terah took his son Abram and his grandson Lot, son of Haran, and his daughter-in-law Sarai, his son Abram's wife. And they went out with them from ur Kazdim to go to the land of Canaan. And they came to Haran and dwelt there. And the days of Terah came to be 205 years. And Terah died in Haran. That concludes Genesis 11. Thank you. Hopefully you can hear me.